Just a young gun with a quick fuse. I was uptight, wanna let loose. Don't look now, but the next big bubble is here, and I'm not trying to be an alarmist or sensationalize anything. It's just here, and it's about to happen. Well, technically, it's already started. No, it's not tech or a housing crash or even student loans, although that, that one's certainly coming soon as well. No, no, this is commercial real estate, and this bubble is going to be a big one. So to keep the show short, and because it's not really a huge concern for residential real estate and lenders, I'm going to skip the technicals and get to the why. So why is this happening when rates are low and money is cheap? That's the concerning part. The bubble isn't really being driven by bad borrowers or bad loans or even access to easy money a few years back, no. This bubble is much more organic and is simply a repercussion to the massive move to e-commerce. Don't believe me? Just Google brick and mortar meltdown or top 10 store closures or simply drive to the local mall. They're getting smashed right now. I mean, closing after closing, entire malls being closed or at the very least turning over regularly with new suckers. I mean, new storefronts and brands. The bubble isn't really a bubble this time in my opinion, rather an evolution on how we do business. That's the scary thing here because usually bubbles can be pumped back up and I'm not sure this one can anymore. I think our society has just made an organic shift on how we shop and purchase items. So I don't see anything really coming back into these spaces when the bubble is done bursting. I mean, really, who's gonna take the corner spot at the mall or fill in all the spots at the local strip mall? It would have to be something not affected by e-commerce, like a destination location where you have to visit it, like a dentist or a doctor's office, something where you have to visit and can't purchase online. So yes, this is a real thing, and I do believe it's bigger than a bubble. We almost need like a bigger term for this one. But why should we care if we're not in commercial real estate? Well, again, repercussions, and there's gonna be a ton of them. Banks hold two trillion in commercial real estate debt. Life insurance companies hold 460 billion. Even the GSEs, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, 521 billion. Small and local banks and credit unions have a slice as well. And when Lids and Hot Topic or Sears can't pay their bills, the debt holders lose in a big way. We are in the very early stages of this shift. And again, the markets are calling this a cycle or bubble. I think it's much bigger for the reasons I already gave. The commercial real estate shift, cycle or bubble or whatever you wanna call it will maul loan by loan the small banks and then it will hit the REITs and then it will crush all the mall REITs and eventually it will rake holders of commercial mortgage backed securities over the coals. It's a super interesting topic and challenge if you ask me. I know this isn't what we normally talk about here. Did we waste your time today or do you feel like this is pertinent and should be watched and discussed? Again, the technicals will be below for nerds like myself. Feel free to dig in. What are your thoughts on the matter? Let us know down below and we'll see you guys next week. Lightning and the thunder.